All right, Jesse on Fire, quick Sunday video about Conor McGregor calling for a slap match with Nate Diaz in Dana's new slap league. And I have some thoughts about this because I think that could actually happen. I really think that could actually happen. And I'm going to use this video as an excuse to uh, give you guys my thoughts on the slap league as well. And uh, we'll go from there. So, uh, yeah, because Conor apparently didn't know about the slap league. And when he saw the promotion for it on the uh, Cannoneer versus Strickland card last night, which is when I saw the first, you know, like official promotion for it also, he took to Twitter and called for him versus uh, Nate. And he's in. He's like, I'm in, dude. Let's do this. Now, if he's really in, that's one thing. If Dana had him tweet that, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. And there is no cost that you could pay Nate and Connor to do a slap league fight that wouldn't be worth it if you are really trying to make this league happen. And I have some thoughts about how the league would work. Like, you know, like this thing can work. This thing can absolutely work. I didn't think it would work before. Before I saw the promotion and this thing with Connor, I was just looking at it. I'm like, there's, there's no way this can work, man. It can't work. It can't. And I've changed my mind. I've changed my mind. And I'll tell you why. But I have thoughts on it all, all around, like whether or not I, uh, whether I like it or don't like it or whatnot. We'll go, we'll, you know, I'll get into it in a second. Before I do those super quick, like every video, if it's your first time seeing my channel, enjoy this video. If it's your second or more, I ask that you guys subscribe to the channel, then you can have access to all of my videos. You know, Netflix, you have to pay a bunch of money, lots of stuff you have to pay for. Here, it's completely free. I do a lot of work. All I ask is that you subscribe to the channel and then, you know, forget about it. It'll take you one second. You just click subscribe. If you don't want to pay attention to my stuff later, whatever. But you have free access to everything. That's, it's a gentleman's agreement. I'm handshaking it with you. And I appreciate you guys doing that. It, uh, it makes a huge difference for the channel. So uh, anyway, so here's the deal. So Connor took to Twitter and wants a, a slap box fight or, a, you know, a sl I don't even know what you call it. Like, a, you know, a slap match with Nate Diaz. And, you know, if you're going to launch any organization and you can get Nate versus Connor in it, I don't care if you're launching a roller derby, you know, or a new golf league. If you can get those two guys against each other, you are going to be off to the races. It's just as simple as that. You know, oh, we're launching a new miniature golf league. You're all, well, we got Connor versus Nate. I'm like, whoa, this could work. Have either of these guys ever played miniature golf? They're all, hell no. You're all, it doesn't matter. It's going to be entertaining. Slap boxing, you know, I can't, again, I don't even know what you call it. So if I, if I end up calling this slap boxing, you know what I mean. I'm talking about Dana's slap league. So here's why I think it could happen, right? And again, don't take this as like some ringing endorsement of this slap league. That's not what I'm saying. I'm purely talking about why I think this, this could actually happen with these two guys and what would make the thing successful. Then I'm going to tell you what I actually think about the whole thing, okay? So the reason why I think it could happen is because you don't need a training camp. There's no training camp for this. Nothing. There's no, you, you walk in there off the couch and you do your little slap match, right? So like if Dana paid Connor $5 million and they paid Nate two and a half million dollars or whatever, you know, obviously well under what they would get paid for an MMA match, but it's literally a plane flight, sleep in the hotel, wake up the next day, go slap each other in the face and leave. There's, you know, like when people are like, this is one of the things that, that drives me crazy. <laughs> it's like when, when, the, when you see these stats are all Conor McGregor made $1 million for every 10 seconds he was in the octagon last night. You know, like after he fought Cowboy and he used to do those things. He made a million dollars every five seconds. You're like, how are you coming up with that figure? They're like, well, you know, he made $30 million and he was only in there for blah, 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 blah. You know, and you're like, okay. So really, really, you, that's, that's, that's your math? Hey, do you think he would have won the fight in 60 seconds if he wouldn't have trained 10 hours a day for the last four months? You know what I mean? It's like your math is a little bit off, dude. You know, like the fight itself is the fun part. That's the fun part. Okay. The work is the training and then the cutting weight, especially the stress, the anxiety about having to do your weight cut, the anxiety about the fight, all of that's like the fight itself. That's not even work. That's just muscle memory and fun. You know, I mean, obviously losing a fight is not fun, but the actual act of fighting is awesome, right? You're nervous before you get in there. Then once you're actually moving around, even if you're losing, you know, the nerves are gone. You're just fighting at that point. So I always thought that the, those, I just, I think those articles are so dumb, so dumb for the reason I just stated. But 
on the slap fighting thing, it is legit. It's totally legit. You know, factor in how much time they're going to do promoting it. Like, you know, however many, you know, tweets and hours or whatever. And then also add in the time they're on stage slapping each other. And that's it. That's their total time commitment, which is nothing. It's nothing. So it could happen. It could absolutely happen. And I, and, and, you know, if Dana is as smart as me, and he's certainly much smarter than I am in promoting these things, then he's going to find, you know, he's going to get to the same place that I'm at, which is the way that you promote the slap league is you bring in people that people know. Okay. The way that this slap league will work. Let me rewind. Actually, the reason the UFC is so awesome, right? Is because a combination of the fights themselves and the stories around them, the characters around the fights. If I do a video about Conor McGregor, it's going to get 10 times as many views as if I do a video about someone who you guys know. If I do a video about a UFC fighter no one's ever heard of, it'll get like no views. You know, I'm serious. If I do a video about Conor, it'll probably get like, you know, any anywhere from 20 to 35,000 views. Okay. If I do a video about someone that no one's ever heard of, no matter what I title it. Okay. It's going to get like, 7,000 views seriously and that's it's, and that just means there's like 7,000 people that will literally watch anything I put up no matter what okay so like you know when it comes to promoting a violence-based thing of course you get the stars you get stars to do it and you pay them enough to where you know you're like you, losing money at the beginning of a venture is par for the course so you can overpay versus what you're generating initially but the thing about the UFC is that the fights themselves are incredible, right? Like there, it's it's this chess match, this physical chess match with dire consequences for mistakes. The slap thing is like skipping all of the skill, skipping all of the whatever, and just getting to see the part where a guy lands an overhand right. You know it's coming. Is he going to be able to survive? So in all honesty, <laughs> it's probably going to work, dude. It's probably going to work. But the way it needs to work to get maximum value is you have to have characters in the stories that people can align with. You got to have amazing backstories. Like you need to like feel like you know these guys and you build, you know, mystique around this, this slap guy that's whatever, blah, blah, blah. You know, like that's that how it, how it needs to work is you build stories around these guys. So people are watching halfway because it's that guy and they're aligned with their story. And then the other side, because people are gluttons for violence and they know there's going to be heavy shots and people might get knocked out or whatever. So, you know, that's how I think it'll work. And, uh, and again, I think the Connor and Nate thing could potentially happen because they don't even have to train. 